Good evening. It's Friday night right now. I'm in my snuggly robe. It's not robe, it's like a bath towel. But anyway, <laughs> I basically wanted to start this vlog for like the past couple hours, but I've had hiccups. And you know how annoying it is when someone has hiccups and they can't stop hiccuping? Every other word they say is like a hiccup. That was basically me for the past four hours. So I thought it's annoying me so much. I can't vlog when I do this because it will just piss everyone else off as well. So I've basically been holding off vlogging until now and I don't want to jinx it because I bet when I say that the hiccups will come back. Anyway, I have put in a hair mask. This is about as wild as my Friday night's gonna get, by the way. Little Claire Styles one. And you would not believe the state of my flat right now, guys. I have suitcases everywhere. You realize I'm like sitting like this because there's a suitcase literally right next to me so I can't move because my whole floor is covered in suitcases. I have stuff everywhere, I have clothes everywhere, I have everything in like different bags. Like honestly it's horrendous. We're gonna sort out my life tonight. It is 9 30 I think. 9 47 it's 10. Hopefully by midnight I will have sorted out a bit of my life and feel a bit better. I'm just gonna show you what's actually going on. This is semi okay. Then I have like suitcases, clothes, just crap everywhere, more crap everywhere. <laughs> Literally as soon as you walk out there's just like a suitcase because I just brought that back with me. If we go into my room, there's just clothes. I basically just unpack my suitcase and put it on the bed. I don't know where Duke is. Where's he gone? Is he in here? <laughs> Hold on. Hey monkey, somebody had a haircut, didn't somebody? Was that somebody you? God, it's so weird when people talk to their dogs or pets, isn't it? You just sound like a freak, but I literally don't care. Bags and products absolutely everywhere. Went shopping, so maybe I'll do a haul. It's gonna be quite a night tonight, guys. We're gonna get shiz done. Do I start with the beauty room or start with my closet? I feel like closet because if I stop the beauty room halfway through, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Basically, I need to sleep at some point, so I need to sort this out first. Should I just show you what my closet looks like? It's so embarrassing. Here's a little update. <laughs> um, hi, is that cozy? <laughs> Guys, we're making some sort of semi-progress. I don't know why all my towels are in my cupboard, but this is the kind of thing I'm tackling right now. What am I doing? I'm doing shoes. I'm putting stuff into different piles. It looks like I haven't really made any progress, but I kind of feel like I have. Oh, guys, we're making progress. Let me show you what we've done. I have piles of stuff for Depop, some of which I've already put online. I have summer clothes, which need to go into storage because I'm switching everything over. Laundry, puppy. So bags are officially organized and looking really nice. Can someone please stop me from buying pink bags? <laughs> Seriously. Then in here, I mean, I don't know what to do with these because these are all like shoe bags, but I find them so useful for traveling. And then here I need to sort that. But we have tops and then dresses, fancy dresses, and then like a new thing that I need to try on and see. Then in here we have skirts, which I fold, leggings and tops and stuff. Then in here we have jumpers, more jumpers. By the time I got to this one, I was like over folding jumpers. <laughs> Trousers. And then down there is where I keep um, boots. I've done a closet tour by the way, so I'll link that down below if you want to see, but I have rearranged my shoes. You will have seen these, which I bought recently. These two are new. Guys, that took exactly an hour. Honestly, I kind of prefer doing the beauty tidying up more, so that's why I left it till later, because it's so much more fun than folding clothes. I had a shower, I washed out my hair mask. Let me move me closer. And now it is time for the fun stuff, which is, the beauty stuff, finally. Guys, look at this drawer, how horrendous is that? I'm going to sort out my beauty stuff. That's the fun bit of tidying up, isn't it? I got so bored of folding jumpers. I'm using my wet brush, by the way, which is amazing. Anyway, I'm just gonna brush my hair. I'm just gonna leave my hair to air dry a little bit. Basically, my makeup station is a complete disaster. It's actually so bad. I don't know how I've managed with this. First, I'm gonna put my tools back. I had to go to my sister's and steal this back because it's so good. I've also done a makeup room storage tour thing. So if you're curious about like where I'm rummaging, then you can watch that video to see what I'm actually rummaging where. Anyway, I'm just gonna put bottles, my fake tan. I actually need fake tan tonight as well. I'm gonna put bottles in there. Oh, I also have this candle, which I got from the Plaza Athenaeum. March, May, April, 
whenever I went and it smells so good but I love it so much that I don't want to burn it I've been saving it for like what like four months and I'm like okay I think it's time that I should burn this oh it smells so good and it just reminds me of the trip it was such a nice trip me and David that I kind of want to keep it and remind myself of it for the smell then I have some free things so my friend Philippa for my birthday bought me the most gorgeous brush pot holders they have my sorry i have like random moisturizers and stuff like my probiotics and that I just, just but my life's a mess right now it's in disarray anyway she bought these for me i don't know where they're from they're from birdie hall and they're so cute i love them someone tweeted me the other day being like amelia you always say so cute and i know that's like I can't stop saying it. Once my friend's mum, when we were younger, and we first started saying like, actually, you know my friend Natasha, her mum picked us up from a party and we wouldn't stop saying like to describe how it was. And she locked us in the car and she was like, you're not getting out of the car until you tell me about your evening without saying like. And every time I say like, which is every five minutes, I think of her telling me that because it's so true. I really need to clean my brushes as well, but that's just gonna have to wait. And I feel like I've also narrowed down my brushes a lot, mainly because I was away and I put everything in my makeup bag. I think fragrances are overflowing a little bit, so I don't know which ones I don't use. I mean, this I don't use, but it's like too special to use. I think I might to take out modern muse i think i might take out tea escape because i love lazy sunday morning by replica but i never end up using this one as much same goes for this this was a limited edition which is why i like keeping all the jo malone limited edition ones this is like from three or four years ago or something but I'm just gonna try and rearrange without it. These are my two new fragrances that I wanna stay. YSL, Mon Paris, and Emporio Armani because it's you. I love this so much. And David loves the male version as well. Let's see how we can reshuffle this. Now this is what it looks like. I kind of feel like it's just too much, but I just can't get rid of them. I just love fragrance bottles and I love my crystal. Estee bought me this. This is what my desk looks like now. And my little board is coming along nicely. I still need to fill it out a bit. I've been collecting stuff, but I haven't actually put new stuff on it yet. And then here is the clean, clean surface. I have all my brushes here. This one, I've had this for like a year and I haven't been able to get off the plastic. I need some sort of strong person to come and help me. I'm not strong enough. And this is my daily fragrance still. I'm still clinging on to summer vibes. And then in here, is there a sleepy... Oh, sorry, ignore my bra. <laughs> is there a sleepy puppy here? Hi, sleepy angel. It's midnight now, guys. Good morning. It's such a sunny Saturday today. I just walked deep really quickly and... Oh my gosh, it's such a nice day. So I'm super, super excited. I'm just putting on my skincare routine for the day. I've been away for a while, so today I'm seeing like four friends, <laughs> all in different times. And then I'm hopefully gonna film an unboxing video because I have literally 90 parcels that need to be unboxed and I'm dying to see what's inside them. But I wanna wait for an unboxing video because I have so many of like new beauty launches and stuff. And then tonight I'm having dinner with David I put it in our calendar. We have like a joint calendar. I put it in there as romantic dinner with Bay because he hates it when I say Bay. I have officially lost my tan. Look at me. This foundation, which I'm loving, by the way, it's the NARS new velvet matte stick foundation. This suited my skin color a week ago. And now I'm gonna look a bit, we'll, we'll blend it. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to make do, but actually look how easy it blends like that's why i love this foundation it's literally like a two minute foundation that looks horrendous but then look when it's blended it's actually amazing i'm not really big into stick foundations at all you've probably seen me talk about like one or two ever actually just one the bobby brown stick foundation and that was because mario dead ivanovic kim kardashian's makeup artist liked it so i was like well then i like it too but yeah this is actually amazing i've been using it for pretty much the past month with the Giorgio armani maestro glow those are the two that i've been using on repeat i am finally ready for outfit of the day i have five minutes <laughs> until i need to go hello little white bum 
Okay, so let me show you my outfit of the day. I bought this, it literally arrived yesterday from ASOS. I'll leave the price on the screen right now, but I think it was quite affordable. And it's super, super soft and snug. I wish you could feel it, but it is really, really snug. And I like that it doesn't hug around your tummy. It has these kind of ruffles down the front and on the sleeve as well. I have my velvet Gucci bag, which is from last season, but they have bought it back. I don't know what their stock is like this season, but I remember last season they were so hard to track and they were like just basically coming in and being sold out the same day. But this season there seems to be, I've been checking like throughout the month since they've been online, there seems to be enough stock it doesn't keep selling out or anything. And they also have it with um, embroidery as well and they have like a darker blue now too, which is so nice. Anyway, <laughs> I love this bag so much, can you tell? I never really wear that much like bright bold colors like this in winter but it definitely just like livens up the outfit i'm also wearing these boots which are new i bought them new in for autumn they're not the stuart wiseman ones i know i wear those a lot they actually have a much chunkier heel than the stuart wiseman ones which i find make them a bit more comfortable for like walking around and i actually also really like that they hug your legs a bit better than the stuart wiseman ones they don't like fall down and they're also half the price of the Stuart Wiseman ones. The Stuart Wiseman ones are really quite expensive. They're around 700 pounds, but I've had mine for four years and they're still going strong. So they are really good. Hopefully these ones will last just as long. They're around, I think they're just under 300 pounds or just over 300 pounds. But for boots and things that I know will last me like seasons and seasons and seasons, especially in London where you're not just wearing them from like one season, you're basically wearing them for like three quarters of the year, then, you know, I feel like it justifies it a little bit more. Funny it is. It's so sunny, I can't even see you. Do you want an acai bowl? Acai bowl? <laughs> I was running so late that I didn't explain who I was going to see, but I showed you what we ate. I'm basically with Yaz. Yaz and I met like a month ago when we were both getting our eyebrows done. She came up to me and she was like, I've watched a vlog. I follow you on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And then she said she also had an Instagram. Then I became a huge fan of her and then I started messaging her like every day. And then I was like, wanna hang out with me? And now I'm with Yaz. You need to follow her on Instagram because she has the cutest style like now. She always is in like the cutest dresses ever. <laughs> Guys, I'm sitting in bed and I was gonna read my book, but um I'm just staring into space instead. I chose the wrong day to whip out a jumper dress because it's so hot. <laughs> but I just really wanted to wear it. Now I actually have lunch plans as well today. I never normally have breakfast and lunch plans. I don't know where I got all these friends from. <laughs> oh, by the way, on my last video, people commented saying, try your look without winged liner. So that's what I've done today. What are your thoughts? By the way, I have a bedrobe from trying on too many outfits today. And then I just went with the jumper dress because it was just easiest. Duke loves nuzzling himself in bedrobes, as you saw last night. <laughs> That's what he's currently in. I'm in my car. We are going to the Ivy Chelsea Garden for lunch. I'm going with my two school friends and everyone is running half an hour late because we all went to the same school. That's not why we're all running half an hour late, but it was just funny how like one person was like, I'm running late, so I was like, me too. I was on bed, so I have absolutely no excuse. Okay, let's go. I feel like red lights were made for lipstick touch-ups. <laughs> this is my favorite. Look how empty it is. It's so, oh, it's green. Bye. Oh, now you can see it. We have come to the theme for lunch. It's only taken four hours for our food to come. I am sitting next to a viewer at lunch and she doesn't want me to vlog her, which obviously I totally understand, but she's showing me what's in her bag. And it's the YSL lipstick in number 44, which is like my all time favorite shade, which is beyond hilarious. <laughs> hey, sleepy sleep person. What are you doing? Did you miss me? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> Was that a yes? Guys, I'm back. I'm looking very red. What's going on with my camera? That's better. I am back. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. And okay, so I'm gonna show you something that I need to get done today. Before I go to David's tonight, I wanna film an unboxing of this 
stuff because I'm literally dying to try all these new beauty launches and people keep asking me my thoughts and I haven't opened any of the boxes yet as you can see and I haven't been able to try anything so I'm basically gonna film that now and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film an unboxing and then do a first impressions on Instagram live because I'm not gonna be able to wait to do a first impressions for a video I literally as soon as I open them they're going on my face because I've already seen what quite a few things are like I know that there's a huge by Terry parcel in there and that needs to be opened ASAP and then tonight I'm actually I was gonna make David dinner here but actually it's really sunny and he has a barbecue outside so I'm gonna go to his house well we me and you anyway that was such a fun lunch I'm sorry I'm not the kind of vlogger that like doesn't vlog stuff as you guys know I vlog everything I'm not shy with my camera but I hadn't seen my friends in a really really long time I hadn't seen Vicky in four months and I hadn't seen Ellie in like a year maybe so it was like catching up with school friends and yeah I'll vlog the rest of the weekend so don't worry you're sticking around I got three other things in my ASOS order but they're all the same but I needed to check my size and it comes in petite and normal size and I never know and I get so confused but it's this amazing striped jumper what size should I try on first I got four and I got six and I got petite eight <laughs> I think because I have a short torso maybe I'll try the petite eight the track suits have come on guys because well I'm at home now so <laughs> yeah okay I'm not so sure about this jumper basically I wanted it to be a lot bigger than this I thought it was fitted bigger but I love the color and I love the blue bell sleeves and I just think it's like a really fun jumper I guess it's a good alternative to the Gucci stripe jumpers and I like the kind of vivid colors especially because I wear a lot of like gray and neutral tones in winter but I think I'm gonna get it in a size 10 so that it's bigger but again this is 35 pounds and it's really cute and it's really soft ASOS are really upping their game right now this one is a UK 6 the other one was a petite 8 but this one is a normal UK 6 and I think this actually looks better but I do think I'm gonna go up a size. Guys, I'm trying to position myself into this for my thumbnail before I open it. And I feel like I'm just going to end up underneath all these parcels and people will find me weeks later. I'm gonna show you something I've never really shown anyone before except my doctors, which is kind of weird because like, why am I about to show everyone on the internet? And I'll tell you why. I just feel like I need to make what I'm about to show you less of a taboo and make other people who I know are in a similar situation to me because I've met so many of you and I've received so many messages and emails from you that this is okay and it's not something to be ashamed of. As you know, I have something called SIBO, which is part of the IBS family. I also have bursts of candida in my gut and throughout summer I was actually fine. I had no SIBO symptoms. My stomach was totally flat. My Everything was being normal in my body. And for some reason, as soon as I go back to London, which is weird because in summer I was eating way more sugar or like whatever bad stuff that I'm not really supposed to be eating that I normally ever would because I was just yellowing around eating ice cream and stuff and my body reacted to it fine. I'm still trying to figure out my kind of symptom triggers. And for some reason right now, this isn't as bad as it gets. But this, without revealing too much, this is my stomach right now. It doesn't look that bad on the camera, but it's rock solid. It's so hard, and I've never really shown the, like, full-on... You can see it here, like, how much it's just bulging out. It just hurts so much, I can't even tell you. And it's so weird, just for reference. This is what my stomach should be like, and then that is what it is when I'm like relaxing it. I can't put on any jeans, which is so annoying because it's now winter and I'm probably gonna have to wear jeans at some point, but I'm gonna actively avoid it at all times. To be honest, talking about this had made me feel much more okay about it, if that makes sense. Whereas before I would honestly be too embarrassed to talk about it with my sister because I knew that my body was doing something it shouldn't be doing and that was weird and unfamiliar and strange. A lot of you are also lovely, sorry ignore the mess, and you always ask me for health updates and it's been a year and seven months since I first started looking into my symptoms and my SIBO and to be honest days or times like now I kind of feel like I've got nowhere and I'm just back at square one. Even though I know I've made progress, sorry I'm crying. I know I've made progress. I had ice cream on holiday and I didn't have like a horrendous reaction but I just feel like when is it gonna end? I don't know why I'm crying. I just feel like embarrassed I guess like talking about it as well. As far as like stuff goes it's totally fine. I can go about my normal daily life if I have to have a nap after I eat 
I can have a nap, you know? I just, I'm frustrated, I guess. When I say how long I've been looking into this, I'm just like, wow, that is a really long time. And it just makes me emotional to talk about it because I'm like, I really feel like I'm getting freaking nowhere with this. Sometimes I'm like, okay, Amelia, just pull yourself together and stop crying about it. And you feel like you're getting nowhere, but actually you've got somewhere in terms of like the bigger scale of things. This is really like, it doesn't interfere with your life. It does to an extent, but it's not like a huge interference, if you know what I mean. I'm so grateful that, you know, I can go about my daily life, except a few alterations. I guess I did have like breakfast and lunch out today, which I never normally do as well. I still don't even know if it's eating out because I ate out a lot when I was in France. It's been a year and seven months and I'm still trying to get to the bottom of this. What a great start, guys. Haven't you missed my vlogs? I need a cup of tea. What tea should we have? Some tea pigs. Maybe some lemon and ginger. Some soothing tummy tea. Let's try that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't really have anything else to say. Don't know if I'm gonna keep in that little outburst. I want you to know that if you're in a similar situation to me and you're feeling frustrated, then it's okay. We can feel frustrated and then we can breathe in and breathe out and get on with the day. Sorry if you're not into the tough love thing, but I am. <laughs> Okay, I've had my tea and I'm feeling normal. Basically, when I was away, my friends Johnny and Claire looked after Duke and they recently bought their own palm because they love Duke so much. If anyone has a palm, they'll know the palm thing is that when someone tries to pick you up, you run. It's like a funny palm thing. And in four years, every time I try to pick up Duke, he runs and runs and runs around. And I've never found that annoying. I actually find it cute because I messed up. We literally do this all day. Come here, Noah. Come on, Noah. Come on. And then he goes and hides under a table. They taught him how not to do that, okay? In all honesty, my mum loved it. I didn't. Claire's gonna watch this video and be like, Amelia. I love it when he does that. I find it so funny. It always puts me in the best mood. He's so cheeky. Look at him. He's so cheeky. And I love it. And I couldn't have him being an old dog and being picked up when I want to pick him up. So, um... Yeah, sorry Claire, we're back. We're back to the old ways. I am at David's now and there's barbecue going on. Don't know where Duke's disappeared to. He's like somewhere in this thing. What? What do I need to do? Oh thanks. Oh no, you don't need to back it up. Uh, yes, I will light some candles. Let's make this romantical. Guys, by the way. <laughs> You will find why I sell number 44 lipstick. This number 44, no, this number 47, but 44, 47, 47 is a tiny bit darker. You'll just find them everywhere. They're just like remnants of me. I just like leave lipsticks places where I know I'll need them. Anyway, I need to find some can. Oh, here. Here we go. I've got David a present. I've left that here for him, which he hasn't seen yet. Me cooking dinner for David has now turned into David cooking dinner for me. Do I want a glass of wine? No oh, thanks. I mean, I'll do what to cheers with you. I'm gonna open a bottle to you. Are you? <laughs> Splashing and opening a bottle. I'm only in charge of uh, beans and um, sweet potato fries. <laughs> oh, <boop. laughs> Here, open the rosé, it's in the fridge. Opening rosé. Yeah, Which one? Um, right. On the right. <laughs> I need to think about that. David always makes fun of me because I always can't think about my no, left or my right. Okay. I'm not prepping. This is porcupine wine. How cute. I know nothing about wine. <laughs> David's telling me to show you because it looks impressive. Wow. Master at work. Yeah, yeah. This is our perfect Saturday night, isn't it? We love the barbecue. Yeah, and Take Me Out, but shame for us, Take Me Out finished. That was a TV program that we loved. It was like one of those programs that you know you shouldn't watch, but you love anyway, you know? One of those like dating ones. The Sweet Potatoes, how long have they been in here? 15 minutes. Oh, well. They need another 20. Cheers, babe. Cheers. When we were in France, I kind of wanted to film like a few random clips for an Instagram video, which I'm gonna put up tomorrow, but you will have already seen this by the time this goes live. And basically David helped me film it, which is really sweet of him to do on his holiday, especially because he'd actually never filmed anything before, ever. He's not a videographer or photographer or anything, he's actually a lawyer. So basically it was like the first time he'd ever really 
filmed anything with a camera and I thought he was really good and he gave it such a good go. Let me know what you think when you watch the Instagram video or if you've watched it already. I thought he did such a good job. Anyway, so I bought him this jumper as a surprise because I know that he really wanted it for winter. So yeah, that's what's on the table. So we have sweet potato fries, green beans. I haven't arranged this very well, have I? <laughs> Some asparagus and sausages. Perfect, Saturday night. David's present didn't fit, it was the wrong size, so we're gonna get him the right size. Anyway, now I am in bed. I posted wearing this jumper on my Instagram story today and so many people asked where it was from because it's such a unique jumper. It was actually kind of similar to the acne one from last year and I had it in my basket so many times and I kept deleting it because I just couldn't justify. I think it was like 600 pounds and I just couldn't justify it for a colored jumper. It's not even like a staple. And I was like, no. Anyway, very happy I didn't buy it because I found this one this season and it was 100 pounds and it's actually really cozy and snug and it's just a great statement piece. But I'm gonna tell you more about that. I think I'm gonna do a haul soon so that was just a little spoiler in case you're still watching the vlog i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you on monday with another video Mwah. bye guys <laughs>